know what? I want to few, take a few minutes with you and talk about the great ball player Barry Barnes, the guy that broke all of the records. And you know, what really impressed me with him was simply when I first met him, I tensed up because I heard all of the media. That's some, one of the reasons why you get annoyed sometimes at the media, you know. I said, here come this guy, a monster. He's going to be mean and surly. So I said, uh, are you, you Barry? And he said, yeah. And I expected him to, you know, be surly. I said, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. And we started talking and I was so impressed with the man. Um, he's uh, a, a friendly, he's warm. And I said, you know something, Barry? I gotta tell you something. I said, people hate you. And he says, yeah, I know. I said, why? I asked him why. I really want to know, because then I'll be getting to connect with him. I said, this guy, I had this preconceived notion. This guy was gonna be somebody that you, you know, you're gonna have to struggle through with, you know. It's gonna be one of these guys that can smell his own ass. But I was like shocked that he had such a bad reputation with the media. When he approached, when I approached him and he was so warm, I said, this guy is warm, he's, he's a real good guy. And so we started talking and I asked him, what is the problem? He never, that's what gets me so angry with the, the society and the media. He never tests positive on none of the tests that they claim he's using drugs. Okay. But he never tests positive. Now they say, you didn't test positive, but we believe you're lying. So we're gonna take you up on perjury. They have nothing better to do than to harass this man, the greatest home run hit of all times, and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to say that he lied. What is the purpose? And what is the, I mean, it just annoyed me so because I said to this guy, they're destroying him. He can't play in baseball, he's out of baseball, he's the greatest home run hit of all times. You gotta remember something about steroids too. It gets me annoyed with people. They come in, Oh, he wouldn't have hit those balls if he wouldn't take steroids. Well, if steroids were so great, how come it's not a hundred Barry Bonds? People are so goddamn stupid, it makes, it makes my head spin, you know. Oh, it's a steroids. I said, well, then why is it a hundred? Why is only one if steroids are great? Steroids just make you stronger. It doesn't increase your skills. And I look at the guy and I see that he's, he's painting a little now because he know, and I asked him also, now you gotta forgive me because I my mind is like racing, you know. I I'm here and there, and you know, I, I where my mind goes. But I asked him, I said, why don't you know people gotta like you? He said, Yeah, I said, Well, why you were so unfriendly? He said, I said, you know, I had a lot of nerve really, because I you know, love talking questioned him like I never seen him on TV being questioned this way, but I guess one on one, he didn't mind. So I said, Why? did you do? Why were you like you were? Because I'm in the head, you know, another thing, but I like to know how a man, what's going on in that brain of yours. And he said, I was into myself. And I was so, I felt so pleased the way he was talking. He didn't try, he said, I was just into me. He said, I was into my game and I didn't want to be bothered. I said, now you're sorry. He said, well, I could have been friendlier. I said, Barry, they got to like you. If they like you, you can get away with anything. They don't like you, nothing you do matters. He said, yeah, I'm finding that out. So I, this is just a few minutes to let you know. I was just so pleased that I met the man, and he's such a great athlete, and he's nowhere near what the media try to make him out of. And I can understand why so many people are so angry at the media. Because they'll cut your balls off, boy, if they can. That's when they get their charge, cut it off your balls. And they really chopped on this man's balls. They done giving him no break at all. And now he's got to fight this perjury thing, which I hope he'll win, and I think he will win, because they have to prove he knew he was taking it, and I don't think they're gonna prove that. And he said he wasn't taking it, and I take his word for it. He may have been taking something, I don't know, I don't even get into it, but he wasn't taking steroids. Now, he probably, I'm not gonna get into what, he, I don't think he was, I take him for his word. But the point is, to, Man never tests positive, and now they want to crucify him, they want to bury him. they determined to say, even though you, you're not guilty, we're going to make you guilty of something. And that bothered me. But um, just a few minutes to let you know, he's, a, he, the, he's nothing like the media tell you he is. 
And he's not the type of guy to give interviews because he knows what's going to happen. 90% of the interview is going to be trying to track him, trying to tell him, somebody said this, and you did this, and you grew here, and you grew there. He don't want that shit. You know, he wants it, and that's why he was so comfortable. We talked for two and a half hours about nutrition and training and uh, life itself and ladies and everything because he was comfortable. He know I wasn't there trying to trap him and cut his balls off. So I just wanted to let you know that um, he's no, and I, and I don't know how many people have uh, articulated their relationship with him. I look all over, I don't see nothing on the news. Not, it's like he didn't exist. There's a man that broke the, all of the records, you know. It's like he didn't exist, so. I just uh, feel that it was necessary for me to put my big mouth in the middle of this.